Uh, that is actually one of the biggest. Oh. I told him it was about six foot. Holy crap, dude. Alright guys, so you asked for it, you guys said you wanted to see more snake removal calls, so I'm going on a quick little removal. I'm going to go head over there and uh, get this snake, and yeah, snake removals are always fun, so let's get on the road and make this happen. So it is now getting warmer here in Arizona, and it's spring, and the snakes are beginning to disperse, meaning they're leaving their dens, they're starting to explore, they're starting to become a little bit more nocturnal but it still isn't too hot for them to move during the day. So we get a lot of calls right now. Um, for example, just in the past week, I've gotten five calls. So it's been a call pretty much every single day. Yeah, a lot of them are pretty simple. I'm hoping this one's simple. He said that the snake was moving and he's keeping his eye on it. Um, it's kind of a neighborhood call. It's not necessarily in his yard, but he was on a walk and he saw it close to his house. Should be cool. I'm assuming it's a rattlesnake. I'm only a few minutes down the street, so I'm about to get there quite quickly. We are currently pulling up to the house right here. <laughs> They're all standing out there. Yeah, I just got it. We have a bucket and a hook. Have you ever been bit? Nope. What do you do, take them out in the desert to drop them? Yep, just away from houses and stuff. Dang, okay, uh, that is actually one of the biggest I have seen. Whole... I told him it was about six foot. Holy cow, that is big. That is very big. I mean, did, was he stretched out when you found him? Yeah, he was stretched out right now. Um, outside my garage. So that's a western diamondback rattlesnake. That is one of the bigger ones I've seen. Holy crap, you're heavy. Holy smokes. Okay, yeah, that's a big male. Barely fits in the bucket. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. That's one of the bigger ones I've seen. Holy crap, dude. I could barely hold him up with the hook. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Uh, holy crap. Okay. Uh, there we go. No, no, no. Holy crap, that thing has to be like five something. That is a big snake. Okay, get in the bucket, bro. In the bucket. Behave. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna let him sit in that bush for a second. Here. Because this guy's actually so heavy that I need two hands for this. Holy smokes. That is a big, 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 big snake. Okay. There we go. Ah, there okay. we go. That is a big one. Oh, man. All right. Woo! That is a big one. Okay, let me just put the lid on. Okay. Alrighty. Thank you. You're welcome. Big old snake. So the next step is we have to go to a place where I can remove him safely. That snake is old and he is healthy, he's doing well, he's probably eating rabbits. I am so surprised it's doing that well in this complex. I mean, it's right next to a freeway, it's right next to all these other homes. I'm surprised that snake is still alive, honestly. There is no other closer desert than the one next to my home where I see tons of diamondbacks. So I'm gonna take him out there, which is only a few minutes from my place, so I'm gonna take the snake back to my home and I'm gonna show my parents this snake and get their reaction. Okay guys, so I'm currently walking into my house right now. The cart, the snake's still out there. He'll be fine for a second. Oh crap. I am locked out. Front door's locked. Gotta go through the garage to get my dad. It's just something he would appreciate, so I, got, <laughs> I had to bring him back real quick to show him. Okay, I am currently showing my mom this snake. I think it's more of the fattest one I've ever seen. Than the oh! oh. He looks like he ate a small child. Okay. All right, so guys, we are going to weigh this snake. See, he's in my front yard right now. Okay, this we have 2.4 pounds. That's 2.4 pounds? Yep. Okay. We actually need to put the lid on, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here, give me the lid. Ha! Look at how big that snake is. Three pounds even. I mean, you see my foot? Dang, that's huge. Three okay. pounds even. I'm going to get him in the bucket. 
Oh my gosh, he's so big. Oh my gosh, look at him curl back. So we are, so the bucket weighs three pounds. Three pounds. You gotta step on it, get off, take it close so you can see. So this bucket is exactly three pounds flat. And this snake is exactly four pounds. How crazy is that? All right, so that was a fun little demonstration uh, showing the size of that snake. I mean, that was totally, totally awesome. He hasn't tried striking. He's only rattled once or twice, and it hasn't even been real rattle. It's just been kind of like, chick, 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 and then stops. So we're going to respect him for that, and we're going to take him out to the desert and release him. All right, guys, we are officially out in the desert, and we are walking out to where I believe will be his best bet on surviving some more years to come. I'm walking him out. Um, I'm going to take him far away from the road just in case he uh, decides to cover some ground because these guys are known to cover a lot of ground. So I'm taking him far out so he doesn't find himself crossing the road or finding himself into any other neighborhood. So. All right, so there is a lot of holes and bushes and stuff and such, and there's a nice pack rat's nest there for him to go and hide in. So I find this as ideal as it can get. So let's let him get out of here. Get out of here, big guy. There he goes into that hole. Just wanted to give him a quick guide. And there he goes. Get out of here, buddy. Down into the hole. Look. There he goes. Well, guys, that was a pretty cool snake, wouldn't you say? A nice, big Western Diamondback rattlesnake. Crotalus Aatrox. Those guys are super common, but sometimes you just get those monsters. They're one of the biggest rattlesnakes there are, next to the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake, which you find in Florida. Um, the Western Diamondback Rattlesnakes tend to get big, like that guy back there in Texas, but it's always cool to see them when they get that big here in the state of Arizona. So really, really cool. Glad everyone was safe. Glad the snake is safe and everything is good. I really hope you enjoyed this video. You guys asked for more rattlesnake removal videos. And that one, I gotta say, was pretty good. So, uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. For those who stick to the end of the video, we really, really appreciate you. So thank you so much for that. Comment down below if you do stay to the end of the videos. I'm interested to see how many of you do. And, uh, yeah, we will see you next time, guys. Thanks again for watching. Subscribe. Leave a like. Peace out. Whoa! <laughs> Fell.